Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is so terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor possibly to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concerns for the strengths of the other, as well as the plots, the dynamics of this fixture, all thrown in to a fascinating mix. So oh, what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? This lad, Odegaard, is a player with quite a story. He was plucked at a young age from his native Norway, of course. He's done his tours of duty with a view to aid his development and, and now he's, he's gone full Then as the first man readies himself. So the first penalty. Oh, remarkable start. Ah, oh, the keeper's guessed right, but couldn't keep it out. So this one to restore parity. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. So focused there, fantastic save. Off the post! And the keeper knew he was beaten, so what a bonus. The third man in the queue. No, he's fluffed it. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. He's put it wide. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. So the ball is placed on the spot. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Oh, he's hit the upright. Oh, we're talking inches. Such are the, uh, the fine margins. And so the captain steps up. And he's missed it. So it's all on the shoulders of the keeper. Oh, brilliant! He had to save it, and he did! Oh, I suspect a change of mind could have been the problem then. He's missed it, and the keeper was out of the picture. So all eyes on the goalkeeper. Put that straight at the keeper, it's simply not good enough. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. And he puts it away. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. He cannot afford to miss. Yes, that's how you do it. Well, you can't approach a penalty with any doubt, or you'll have to rely on luck. Where does this end? Their eighth penalty taker. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed, the keeper. Oh, nerveless. 3-3. Three, three.
So where on earth is this heading? We're up to nine. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. Porto have to score, or they have had it. It's in. He's kept the minute. I thought he handled the pressure really well there. His focus cut right through it. How often does this happen? We're up to ten. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. So it's down to him to keep it alive. It's there, and the fight goes on. Pick your spot, don't change your mind, and the keeper should be neutralised. He's put it wide. Can the goalkeeper come up with a moment? Oh, brilliant! He had to save it, and he did! So we've done a complete round, and still nothing is... That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Scores to keep them alive. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Back off the post. Oh, I feel for him. It looked like placement precision. So it's all on the shoulders of the keeper. The only consolation he can take from that was the fact it was on target. Gabriel Jesus with eyes on the prize. Oh, what a save! I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. So all eyes on the goalkeeper.